Ubla Lortak, Kanuwak Pizzi. Today is Tuesday. What day? All day today I will be always do cooperate and I'll treat nice job this assembly looks a little different because I'm making it from home I had to go home and watch Lorelai and Addie while Brian went up to the shelter cabin to rendezvous with some friends who are coming down from Shishmaraf. So, yeah, it looks a little strange, and you might hear background noises while I try to get this done, and the little girls are playing in the other room. So yesterday, we were talking about success. When we feel like we are successful, we feel proud. We feel like jumping, and we feel like doing a cartwheel, and we feel happy and satisfied. We talked about how success can mean different things to different people. For some people, it's going to mean becoming good at a sport. Other people, it might be learning something new, or maybe falling in love, or getting lots of money, setting a goal and making it, getting out to a place that you want to be, or even growing and getting better at things. Then we talked about how when people see success, sometimes it's all they see. They just see the end product, the great ball player, the person who got a wonderful job, the person that made it up to the top of the mountain. But underneath that success are important things like focus, rejection, patience, discipline, getting help from others, having failures, resilience. That means coming back for more even when it's tough. Trying new strategies, practice, being kind to yourself, and believing that you can do it. Now, I'm going to give you a challenge. I want you to think of something you've already been successful at. Your class will choose one thing, or your teacher might put you in groups to have different groups choose different things. Here's a list of ideas. Here's our giant list. Counting to a hundred, riding a bike, sewing an ornament, writing your name, getting good grades, checking the net on your own, building a computer, baking cookies, making ramen, reading a whole book, cleaning your room, cutting a fish, graduating, being eligible for sports, making a harpoon, getting your driver's license, getting a bank account, and getting your first job. Take a minute and look at this list, and you and your teacher can decide how you want to do this. Pick one for the whole group, or pick some different ones for partners or small groups. Pause the video right here, and then we'll figure out what's next. For younger children, it's a good idea to pick something they've already been successful at so they can think about and reflect on what it took to get that success. The next thing to ask is what does success actually look like? The topic that I picked is wearing a mask. So now I have to say, what does it look like successfully to wear a mask? I bet you've got some good ideas. I'm going to list some real quickly. It has to cover your nose. I mean, really. Why would you wear a mask if it didn't cover your nose? That's fit better. Now the air going in and out of both your mouth and your nose is covered. Excellent. Also, make sure it's clean. Don't wear a dirty mask. If you need to fix your mask, be sure 
that you try to handle it by the sides, not right in front of your mouth. That's much safer. That's for fixing it. And remember, don't lick your mask. Yuck. Don't throw it around. Don't put it all over. That's gross. And finally, So now, what does it take to be successful wearing a mask? Let me think. For sure, it takes kindness. Masks mostly protect other people, so it takes a lot of kindness. It also takes love. When you're thoughtful enough to wear a mask, you really do love people. Then it takes patience, because sometimes a mask can be annoying. And that reminds me of self-control. You have to control and regulate yourself in order to keep it on. And that makes me think of discipline. You're actually disciplining yourself and working with yourself so that you can do the right thing, even though sometimes you may not really feel like it. You also have to be willing to accept that you might make mistakes sometimes and then fix them. Then there's the skill of being prepared. You got to have that clean mask ready and take good care of it. In order to be successful, you also have to be forgiving. You have to forgive yourself when you forget your mask and you have to go get it. Or if you don't wear it right and you have to remind yourself, boy, this is a lot of work. It takes a lot to be successful wearing a mask. You also have to have knowledge about how the virus works. Just think, if somebody didn't understand that the virus was invisible and that it traveled in the air and in sneezes and coughs and breath, they wouldn't know why you were going to wear a mask and they wouldn't wear it. And of course, you have to have the ability to listen. Listen to scientists and listen to healthcare professionals and doctors and nurses and people who know all about viruses and illnesses. Sometimes we don't want to listen to people, but if you want to be successful wearing a mask, you got to be able to listen. And finally, you have to have a good memory. Build the memory to build the habit so that you can keep your mask on. Oh my goodness, sometimes I take mine off when I'm all by myself and I see somebody and whoo, I have to put it on. Boy, that takes a lot. So there's your classroom challenge to do with your teacher anytime you want to today. Figure out what success is and looks like on a topic of your choice and then think of a few things that go with that and how it was that people can be successful and accomplish something like riding a bike or getting a driver's license or other important things we all want for each other and for ourselves. I hope you have an awesome day today. And remember, don't give up. Keep on trying. You're going to make it. I'm not lying. Don't give up. Don't ever quit. Try and try. You can do it. If you see our wonderful girls basketball team, they're heading out today for state. As long as the weather is good, wish them the best of luck and the best of success.